This is the vehicle assembly building at NASA, and this is the one I built in SFS 4 months ago. I wasn't really happy with it, so I rebuilt it, and now I have depression. Okay, to explain why I made the second one so complicated, I need to explain to you guys how I did the first one. The first one uses solar panels and docking ports at the bottom, and the solar panels can rise up. When you undock the docking ports, each stage can teleport to the center and get pushed up by the solar panel. When the solar panel retracts, it leaves room for each and every next stage. You can continue doing this until you have a rocket to where you want to go. First of all, it sucks. You can only build stages vertically, and you can only fit about five of them on there at a time. What does version 2 have that one doesn't, you ask? Oh boy, a two-dimensional storage look at this thing right here the two-dimensional storage holds the fuel tanks in place by really thin solar panels since the blue part of the solar panels don't clip with the tanks they're kind of just being held there this allows for any size fuel tank to fit in here and can hold up to six stages containing eight of the biggest fuel tanks each when the desired stage is being built, the solar panels in the center can push the stage to the edge, which they are aligned by more solar panels and elevated to the top part of the vehicle assembly build. If you're wondering why I built in two sections, I built it so you can reuse stages over and over again. For example, you can bring in expended stages from the sides and restore them again to get refueled and re-put back onto the rocket. Now let's talk about the top part. This is the most complicated part, so I'm going to try my best to explain it. So basically, instead of using these side solar panels to push the part all the way to the center, I decided to use these little small small carriages at the bottom to run out to the side of the building, grab the fuel tanks, bring them back to the center, and dock them appropriately. This is to keep the docking ports aligned between the stages so nothing ever breaks. Now, if you're wondering how I got the middle stage in the center, it's basically the same principle as the first vehicle assembly building. Solar panels rise up from the bottom, and when the thing undocks, it snaps to the center every single time. Alright, I've explained everything. Now I'm going to make the best montage you will ever see and land on every single damn planet and moon in a single launch.